It's a bit janky, but it might just work. Did I say a bit janky? It's very janky. Very janky indeed. Fridge Farm Magnetic Animal Set. Not too sure what that's all about, but um, I guess this is kind of like a fridge. <laughs> it's a barn, but also a fridge. These are magnetic. They come right off. And uh, there are some push buttons back here. Now I'm guessing you put these on and it makes some kind of noise. Um, possibly cow related. <laughs> Now, uh, the other thing, there could have been more magnetic pieces that came with this. I have no idea. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, I don't even know if this works. So we're going to find out together. Um, and then we're going to have a poke about in the innards in the hope that we can uh, find some modifications to make it more interesting. Um, yeah, so Leapfrog uh, made this thing. Now, they've been around since 1994. You've probably heard of like the Leapfrog tablet, which was popular some years ago. This is one of their other less notable inventions, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if there are like supposed to be more shapes, like, uh, geez, I don't know, pigs, sheep, etc. But... Um, this came from a flea market, so that's all we get. In the 90s and possibly late 80s, I'm not exactly sure when the trend started, they started um, taking the electronics and encasing them in what, what is known as the black blob, a little black blob of epoxy. The idea being that no one can mess with the circuit. Whatever the reason, uh, you can't really do much to these um, like you could with the older electronic toys, such as the Speak and Spell, etc., which were all solid state and had ICs in them. But, I'm hoping that we can do something to this. Like I say, it was in a flea market and um, it had been there for a few weeks. No one else uh, wanted it, obviously, so I decided to pick it up myself. Yeah, so let's take this apart. And it can just hang out over here little disembodied cow. Let's get some tools. That looks like the guy. Could be batteries in here, most likely, and hopefully they're not all leaking and horrible. Oh, what did I just say? Oh, nasty. Yeah, pretty nasty. We're going to have to get those out and do a little bit of cleaning. Let's get some cardboard here. Don't want to mess up my nice uh, wallpaper. Oh no. Lovely. Okay, who knows, perhaps we'll be lucky. Let's get some batteries, and if we have no luck, we will try a bit of sandpaper on those terminals. But, let's just see what happens here. Okay, no joy. Sandpaper it is, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I had a quick go at these terminals with some sandpaper. Sometimes it's a bit far gone and, well, no amount of sandpaper is going to help you, but uh, in this case we were lucky, I think. Let's put the batteries in there. And... <laughs> Banjo frog, all right. We're going to need um, Mr. Foam. All right, let's see what we got. Hi, I'm Farmer Cad. Listen to my banjo. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> it just keeps going. Well, uh, I was hoping you had an on-off button for that, but it, I think you just have to <laughs> turn it completely off to stop him. Okay, um, let's see what happens with the, these pieces. Nothing, apparently. Purple cow! <laughs> Half a cow, did it say? I think it said purple cow. All right. Purple cow! Wow! You made a match. Look what you found. You made a match. Hear a cow sound. Well, I... <laughs> Given that they said purple cow, I'm going to assume that means there's also other different colored cows. Um, <laughs> I guess the thing to do would be to look online and see what else came with this, but... Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's continue our investigation and uh, open up the innards here. Pretty nasty in there. Quite complicated switches by the look of that. Now I had a quick look online and there are about five different uh, animals. Duck, sheep, pig, uh, cow, and um, oh, I forget what the other one was, but um, each of a different color, hence purple cow and yellow duck, etc. So um, this is also designed to stick on your fridge, hence fridge farm magnetic animal set. So uh, let's see, we have probably a contact switch under there. We have eight of them over here. Okay, if you look here, there's these little uh, notches. Those um, press switches in the, this part here and here. We need to get under here, what is that? That's the on off switch. Yeah, all I can see from this side is a capacitor, but I'm hoping on the other side, there's at least something that we can poke at. This isn't conductive, so we're safe. Uh, there's the black blob I'm talking about. There's uh, some surface mount stuff right here, more surface mount stuff over this side. Uh, that's where the on off switch does its thing. Then you have all these switch contacts coming in and the traces disappear under the black blob. So I'm not confident that we can get much out of this, but uh, we can but try. Um, now we need to turn it on. What can we do? Well, we might be in luck. What I'm gonna do, put one of the screws back. Oh. Now we have access to some contacts here. This is my uh, cheater wire. There's a resistor in the middle. This is to prevent damaging the circuit too much when you're poking around looking for bends. Um, now, because I have to get into those little tiny holes, I've just put some wire on the end of the clips here. Before we start, I should mention that it's not a good idea to poke around in anything that plugs into the wall. These toys run on batteries, a total of about four and a half volts. So let's turn it back on. Uh, let's put it on high. So we are now active, and let's just see what we get. If anything. Hi, I'm Farmer Cad. Listen to my banjo. Oh no, we woke it up. Well, that's actually good. Oh, 
<laughs> that shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> See, we already found something interesting. What I like to do when I'm looking for bands is draw just a little simple diagram of what we're looking at. And um, then you can note down any interesting um, combinations. Um, I might number these. Yeah, so as we go, I'm going to write note down any interesting combos. Now we had a reaction from uh, 2 and six so we'll write down two and six okay so carrying on here two and six now what i would do there is probably wire a momentary switch while it's pressed it's activating that um, connection and when it is not being pressed it's not doing anything at all Okay, let's try something else. Maybe we'll get the frog going again. Hi, I'm Farmer Cad. Listen to my banjo. Okay, so uh, number seven and two also do that same thing. Another thing we could try is um, poking around at these um, buttons over here. Hi, I'm Farmer Cad. Listen to my banjo. There we go. See, we get that same loop over here. And from this point here as well. So it sounds like that's one of the only proper bends uh, we can do on this machine. What we're going to test now, we'll put some bad batteries in there and uh, see what we get. So these batteries are all under um, one volt left in them. First thing to see is whether we get anything at all. Interesting. It actually makes a little sound when you press those together. Let's try the cow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Somehow I don't think we've got enough power. Okay, so here's our 1K ohm potentiometer from uh, last time. If only I had a carabiner with a knife on it. So to do this properly, I'm going to try putting this, oh that's handy, <laughs> putting this in, um, in the circuit. Okay, so I got smart and I found myself a uh, battery holder here. Takes three AAAs, just like the device. On the negative side, we have, it's going straight to the circuit. And on the positive side, it's going through our potentiometer to the um, positive there. So uh, we've got the audio running, let's turn it on. And it'll start out at full power. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We'll turn our frog on here. 
and at the same time I'm going to turn the uh, potentiometer <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Let's have another one. I love it. Um, I wonder if we can get the cow to do anything. Purple cow! I don't think it gets any better than the frog, though. Hi, I'm Farmer Cat. <laughs> well, there you go. We found one Ben, which was fun, which was a little loop thing that you can do. Um, other than that, not amazing, but uh, it was a fun little toy to poke around with and... Uh, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Shush now! Talking over my uh, outro here. We'll put this back together and um, one of these days I'll get the correct part and uh, maybe we'll fab it up. Anyway, till next time, thanks for watching. You found, you it sings! A I didn't know it sang. <laughs> uh, you worked it out, Pussycat. <laughs>